And residents of a Clayton neighborhood are worried their property is slowly crumbling away. Multiple homeowners in the new development Creekside Commons are watching their backyard shift, crack, and erode. As Carly Griffith reports, they want help to make it stop. See the scar all the way up. Joe Mata points out a line in his yard that's a constant reminder of all the problems he's had with his new property. They had to move the fence in four feet from the property line. Cutting down his yard size because the actual property line is sinking. We don't know what to do. That's going to keep creeping in, creeping in, creeping in. So our entire backyards on either side of his home. Mata also showed us the back side of his property where bent trees and cracks in the ground show signs of a persisting problem. When you start seeing cracking and muddy soils, you start to get concerned about what's going on deep down. Stacy Beard with the town of Clayton says they're aware of the problem and are working to make sure residents get a fix soon. We've asked the the developer to do some soil testing to find out what could be causing this. The home builder, KB Home, sent us a statement saying the developer, ASCO Builders, is responsible for the property being impacted and that ASCO is formulating a remediation plan. ASCO had no comment for us. I know that somebody's dropping the ball because nobody's sitting up there saying, okay, it's us. You know, we're going to get it fixed. Not only are residents upset about their own backyards, they're also upset about all of these unused dirt pots waiting to be developed. Residents say that when it rains, it wreaks havoc on their roads, covering them with mud. Any resident that, that buys a home or lives in a home is concerned about the status of their property and the stability of the land that it's built on. What we're worried about is not today, not tomorrow. What's going to happen later on? In Clayton, Carly Griffith, CBS North Carolina. That's a good point. Homeowners say they are hopeful the problem will get fixed, especially with the town's involvement in the issue. The